guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa. And today's video is so exciting because I'm going to be showing you how I make my pumpkin spice madeleines. Now madeleines, if you don't already know, are basically little cakes. They're almost like soft little sponge cakes and they look beautiful. They're in the shape of a shell. They are little French, almost like cakey cookies, I would say, because you can almost eat them like a cookie, but they're soft like a cake. And so I decided it would be perfect to sort of mingle the flavors of fall and turn these into a pumpkin spice recipe. So guys, this recipe is so delicious and so easy to make. So without further ado, I'm going to be showing you how I make these pumpkin spice madeleines, perfect for fall, especially even a fall brunch. They're so good. need half a cup or 113 grams of unsalted butter and now I'm going to take this butter and melt it in the microwave for about 30 seconds to a minute and we're going to melt it and cool it down. Okay so I melted the butter for one minute in the microwave but you can of course melt this on the stove by all means. My first step in making this recipe is always to melt the butter because by the time I knead it the butter has cooled slightly and it is perfect to use in the recipe. So set the hot butter aside and we will be using it when it's a little bit cooler. Now let's prepare the rest of the ingredients. So to a bowl we are going to make our pumpkin spices. We are going to add one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. Next, we are going to be adding half a teaspoon of ground ginger, then one quarter teaspoon of ground cloves or allspice, which also has ground cloves in it, whatever you have on hand. And lastly, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. And then give these spices a little mix. It seriously smells like pumpkin spice in here. It smells so good. So let's set that aside and prepare the rest of the ingredients. Now we can prepare our dry ingredients. First up, I have three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour or about 115 grams of flour. To that, I'm adding one quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder and then one quarter of a teaspoon of salt or about two grams each. Next is pumpkin spice mix. I'm going to add the entire thing to this dry mix. Then we can give this a quick whisk to incorporate. And we're going to set that aside until we need it. Next we have half a cup of sugar or 100 grams of just granulated sugar. And we also have two eggs and we are going to be setting this aside for when we need it. Now we have about 30 grams of pumpkin. I am using fresh pumpkin. You can also use canned pumpkin puree, but I just happen to have fresh pumpkin on hand. Now what I did was I took a quarter of a cup and I squeezed out all the juices and what I'm left with is about 30 grams of the pumpkin or basically three tablespoons. This pumpkin is what we need to make our pumpkin spice madeleine. So let's set that aside as well. So to our stand mixer, you can also use a handheld electric whisk. We are going to be adding the two large eggs right into this clean bowl. And we are also going to be adding the half a cup of sugar. To that as well, the fresh pumpkin or the pumpkin puree. And guys, if you live somewhere where you do not have access to pumpkin, you can even substitute this for a little bit of cooked sweet potato or you can just omit this all together. This is optional because the spices are what's really going to give it a taste. But we were adding the about three tablespoons worth to the eggs and sugar. Now we are going to give this a whisk on a medium speed for about five minutes or so. Feel free to scrape down the sides of the bowl when needed. Okay, so now that our egg, sugar, and pumpkin mix is nice and frothy and light, we can now begin to add our dry mix, which is the flour and the spices. So I'm going to be adding basically the whole thing all at once, then mixing this on low just until it is combined. Feel free to scrape down the sides of the bowl when necessary. Okay, now that the flour mix has just combined, we do not want to over whisk. We are going to be adding the butter. The butter has now completely cooled to room temperature, but it is still melted butter. So add all the butter in there. And then again, mix on a low speed until it is just incorporated. Now I'm just gonna give this a quick mix with my spatula. 
just making sure that all the butter is combined. And then because this is going in the fridge, I'm just going to transfer this to a little bit of a smaller bowl so that it can fit. So I'm going to place this batter in the fridge for 30 minutes. And basically by the time my oven is set to 375, this is ready to go. If you will be using these the next morning because they are best eaten fresh, feel free to place this batter in the fridge overnight. So I'll clean up, set my oven, prepare my madeleine pan, and I'll see you back here to bake. So now I melted about a tablespoon of butter and to this clean madeleine tin, I'm just going to brush it lightly with the melted butter. This just ensures that they do not stick and that they slide out easily. As well, just the lightest little dusting of flour inside each crevice. I'm going to be banging the flour out so there's really not gonna be much remaining. See, so just the lightest little coating of flour on the inside of the shell is really where you need it so you could even wipe off the excess from outside so that you don't bake it on. So now your tin is ready for the batter. Now we have our batter that came out of the fridge. After 30 minutes, you can see how thick it is. It's much thicker than before and that's exactly what we're looking for. So now we are going to take one heaping tablespoon and just simply place that right into the center of this madeleine mold here. No need to spread it out because it is going to spread out in the oven. It is best to start with a tablespoon and then go from there. So get a nice heaping tablespoon and then with the mini spatula, that to me is the easiest way to do these and it is so simple. So as you can see, there's just a little bit of batter left so I'm going to be adding just a touch more of the batter to each little madeleine, just making sure that the ones that look a little bit less full have enough batter in them. We want them to be fairly even. This makes exactly one tray or 12 madeleines. Now I'm going to place these into my hot oven. It is set to 375 for about 10 to 11 minutes or until a toothpick is inserted in the center and it comes out clean. So with the madeleines fresh out of the oven after the 10 to 11 minutes, I'm going to let them sit in the tray for about five more minutes and then we are going to remove them. After the five minutes, they should be cool enough to handle and we can simply take them right out of the shell. You can see that they're nice and golden brown on this side so you can see the indentation from the little seashell marks. That's what gives it an iconic madeleine shape. It's the way they look with the nice shell indentation. How pretty are they? They look so good. They are perfectly golden brown. And as you can see, they came off very easily and you don't see any flour on them because I use such a light little coating of flour just to ensure that they don't stick whatsoever. So guys, my madeleines are fresh out of the oven. They smell amazing. They're so beautiful. They really have such a nice spicy smell in the air. So I can't wait to try them. But before I do, we are going to put a nice coating over the top of them before we eat them. They're gonna be so good. So let's just sprinkle them with the powdered sugar. I'm just gonna dust them with a little bit of cinnamon or nutmeg or that little allspice just right on top and look how pretty they look. Okay, now before somebody beats me to it, I'm gonna have the first bite of these delicious pumpkin spice madeleines. I'm gonna take this one right here. Mmm. Wow. Perfectly spiced. They're so soft and delicate. There's a slight little crunch from the crispy exterior shell, but they're like a nice spongy cake. Very delicious, very soft, mm, very spiced, perfectly spiced. So they're not overly spicy, but there's that nice pumpkin spice flavor. These would go great with a cup of coffee or a cappuccino in the morning. Oh my gosh, if you enjoyed this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more recipes like this one. And of course, this recipe will be on my blog, ladolcelisa.com. So check the link out in the description box down below because I will have the exact recipe, the written ingredients, instructions, and also some more photos. So feel free to find that as well. But I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching and happy baking. I hope you enjoyed these delicious, perfectly pumpkin spiced madeleines. They're such a nice fall treat and I know you'll love them for breakfast. <laughs> Stop battery. No, I did. <laughs>
So as you can see, this makes exactly, this is 12, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, yes. <laughs> Did you see what I have to do? Oh my God. <laughs> Do you want to say what you're doing? This is going in the blue <laughs> Get out! The sooner I finish, the sooner you can have one.